Welcome everyone to Gamer Mail. Today I'm really excited to bring you this news, starting with a benchmark on Intel's discrete GPU, a new Enthusiast CPU competitor, and reviews are out on AMD's new AF CPU. But first, check out today's sponsor, Drop. Formerly known as Mass Drop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, and if you do it today, you'll get $20 off your first drop made items. So head to the link in the description below. So starting things off, we have the first benchmark on Intel's upcoming DG1 GPU, which is their first XE discrete GPU that's expected to launch this year. Originally found and shared on Twitter by RO Game, you can see that we have a few 3D Mark benchmarks that compares the new DG1 with AMD's upcoming Ryzen 4800U, 4700U, and Intel's own Tiger Lake processor. And of course, given the DG1 is paired with Intel's 9600K, this is likely a desktop GPU, so it's obviously not fair to compare it to AMD's iGPU, but it's still interesting to look at. Also, keep in mind that the DG1 is a 25 watt part and is supposed to have the same 96 EUs as Tiger Lake's iGPU. But here you can see that AMD's 4800U handily beats the Tiger Lake part. This could come down to either better drivers on the DG1, better heat dissipation, or both. Either way, the DG1 does handily beat AMD's upcoming APUs in most of the benchmarks except for the first graphics test. Of course, once again, this part isn't really a fair fight, but the DG1 does look to be a decent way for the company to get into the market. With that said, I am worried that Intel is still having yield issues on their 10 nanometer process given the company still only has mobile CPUs on their 10 nanometer process and their first discrete card also based on 10 nanometers is basically just a mobile discrete card as well. Maybe I'm wrong, but I do hope we see higher end cards before long. Next up for today, we have an interesting story concerning a new competitor in the DIY or enthusiast PC market space. In the past, I've covered some potential new competitors, but those were either way upcoming products or more on the server side of things. This time, um, this company, I know I'll pronounce that wrong, so I won't even try. Either way, they're a joint venture between Via Technologies and the Shanghai Municipal Government that's been working on client systems for a while. But now, they're releasing the KX6780A, which is a 16 nanometer 8 core, 8 thread x86 CPU with 8 megabytes of L3 cache, support for dual channel DDR3 memory at up to 3200, and it's clocked at up to 2.7 gigahertz. And what's interesting is that the CPU is already in some reviewers' hands. Now, this obviously isn't some powerhouse of a CPU, but the company claims that it's comparable to Intel's 7th gen i5 processor. And of course, that's pretty old tech at this point, but it may be interesting to see this play out. According to Anantech, this mini PC equipped with the CPU is expected to make its debut in March and is so far launching in China only, but it may actually become available in other countries before long. With that said, there's obviously some politics involved in this. The launch is likely the Chinese government's continued push for products made within the country, and there will likely be some concerns over spying, but it's at least interesting as the added competition will likely push AMD and Intel to make better products, which is always a great thing. While on the topic of making products better, not too long ago, AMD quietly began selling a new Ryzen CPU that was labeled under their Ryzen 5 1600. The processor first gained attention because it was selling for just $85, but after some actually looked closer, they found out that this 1600 had a new AF SKU instead of the original AE. And upon even further digging, it turned out that this new CPU was actually a 12 nanometer part, similar to AMD's second gen Ryzen CPUs. Well, a few reviews have recently come out over the new variant, and it's pretty interesting. The new version is largely similar to the original 1600 in performance, but the AF version seems to get better performance out of the box and can typically clock a bit higher. Basically, these seem to be a 2600 CPU that didn't exactly make the cut. Still, it's better clocks, which gets a bit better performance and for an even cheaper price. Well, sort of. The original listing isn't there, but if you see an AF version for sale around that original $85 price, or even a little bit more, it's definitely a great deal. Then again, you can get the 2600 for just $120 right now, so 6 cores is still really cheap. So while that does it for today, what do you think of Intel's newest DG1? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think Intel is going to do some great things with their discrete graphics cards, or is it going to be a bunch of over-promising and under-delivering? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, 
Have a great day.